we have got one subscriber his name is sam and he has asked me to create video on http protocol so in this video i will be talking about http protocol then what are the http methods then i will also uh, tell you how the sample request and uh, sample response of the http uh, protocol looks like then we will look at the what are the different status codes are there in http protocol and finally uh, we will see what's the difference between http and https so let's get started so http is nothing but the application level pro uh, layer protocol as per the osi model the main purpose of using http protocol is that uh, it will allows you to you know communicate with the server and the client like whenever you try to access the website say softpost.org through the browser what happens is that in the background it is using this http protocol to access the resources from the server like when we say get me this www.softpost.org website it actually sends the one of these uh, requests get request post request and then uh, when the server gets that request it will send the response so that is basically in simple terms it is a http protocol it allows you to communicate between client and server now let us see what are the uh, different methods in this http protocol so some of the important methods are get post head delete put and there are other methods which i haven't covered because these are the most important methods that we generally use so get method is very uh, easy like if you want to access any website the first request that is sent is the get request then post request is generally used when we uh, submit the forms like on online there are lots of various forms that are there so whenever we submit the forms that is generally uh, at that time this post request is sent then we have got the head request which can be used to access the headers of the request then if you want to delete one document from the server you can send this delete request so there are various requests and purpose of each request or a method is different for example get and post is used to send the data to the server head is used to get the uh, like you know the header information then if you want to delete one of the document from the server you can use the delete method to put means if you want to store uh, one of the file into the server then you can use the put uh, method now let us see what are the sample requests and the response messages how the format of the message looks like so first of all we will see the request uh, message or request line is there followed by next line there is a headers then empty line followed by optional body so these three things are there whenever we are sending a request to the server now when we get the response back from the server what happens is that the message format looks like this one so instead of request line there is a status line then there are headers followed by empty line and then actual body where it contains the response so that's how typical request and response uh, looks like in the sixth point i will uh, take you to the computer and then show you how the actual request and response uh, looks like and uh, how you can uh, see that in the chrome browser as well as postman now let us take a look at uh, status codes there are various status codes like whenever we get the response from the server server responds with uh, various codes like uh, if the request is successful then we will get the code something called as 200 okay it means that whatever a uh, client has requested server has got that and server has responded with the actual response and the response has been successful at that time server will respond with 200 status code so similarly they have uh, categorized these uh, response codes in uh, five categories 1xx 2xx 3xx 4xx and 5xx so all these status code that start with one they are informational status codes just give the information about the request 200 means the request has been successful for example 200 is okay status code then all the uh, status codes that start with three they are like uh, when the document is moved permanently for example 301 at that time we can use this status code for xxx means a resource is not found for example 404 401 some resources are not uh, like uh, forbidden at that time this particular status code is returned 
then 500 or uh, all the status code that start with 5 are actually server error codes like at, on the server if some error occurs then this particular uh, status code will be sent for example 500 is one of the server error code that is called as internal server error whenever we send the request to the uh, server server will respond with either of these codes and based upon these codes client or the browser will display the message on the browser okay now let us take a look at what is the difference between http and https so main difference between this http and https is that https is a secure protocol that means all the information that is uh, exchanged between the browser and the server is encrypted like if someone tries to get the packets that are sent between the client and server and tries to read that he will not be able to read the do document or the packets because it is secure it is encrypted but in http what happens is that all the data that is transmitted between the client and server it is in plain text so a hacker can easily get those packets and read it very easily without any issues now i am going to take you to the computer and then tell you how you can uh, see the headers request response in uh, google chrome browser and also uh, you can how you can do that in the postman that is another third party application where you can send post get request various http request and play around so let us switch to computer now let us see how to see the uh, http headers request response in chrome browser and uh, we will also see how to do it in postman so for that you have to uh, press ctrl shift j and then uh, developer tools will open up and if you go to uh, network tab in this developer tools you can get it down there you can dock to the bottom like that and what i'm gonna do is just refresh this page now it's very simple page so there will be very less requests you can see there is just battery.html and favicon dot icon so only two files were requested and you can see the uh, status codes of that http is 200 so if you click on this one so th this is one http request and uh, we can see the headers over there in the headers tab it is also showing request url request method status code remote errors referral policy the uh, response errors and request errors are given over here so if you want to see that you can just click on that button so you can uh, see all the headers request response over here in this chrome browser itself apart from that there is also another application called as postman so this is the postman i have already installed it uh, you can also search on the chrome browser or uh, google and then download and install this postman it's very popular among developers once you install it uh, you can create requests like over here you can select get request post request so there are various http requests given there you can uh, select the request uh, type that you want to fire and then give the here parameters like i want to fire the http get request on this url then you can also add the parameters by clicking on this tab and then click on uh, if you are ready to send the request just click on the send button and then in the bottom section of this particular uh, pane you will see the actual response or all response you can also preview that it will also uh, display cookies if uh, any sent by the server if you want to see the headers you can see it over here and the status code is displayed over there time size is also displayed so if you want to see actual uh, the request sent by the postman you can click on code over there and then this is the actual uh, request that is sent so you can see that get then uh, the url or resource that we want to get then host name and there are some headers that have been sent if you want to see the actual uh, request and response message that was sent and received you can uh, click on view and then click on show postman console and over there it will display the actual request and responses so i'm gonna again send this request and now if you look at the console over here if you expand that and you have to click on raw over there it is the request actual request message that was sent and this is matching the request format so first line is request line followed by all the headers so this is catch control is header followed by colon and then actual value of that header followed by blank line you can see an optional body message so there is no body so it is showing nothing after that it is uh, followed by the actual response uh, line status line and then followed by all the response headers status state content type etc and after there is a uh, blank line and then followed by actual message or the body of the response if you have more questions related to this http protocol let me know through the comments i'll see you in next video till then goodbye and have a nice day